Anisu. I'm Johnny Tibbetts. And I'm Rachel Dela Cruz. I know you're all still reacclimating after 12 days off, especially you teachers. But now it's May, six weeks from summer. May 5th to be exact. Cinco de Mayo. Here's Carlos Rodriguez with more on why the 5th of May is celebrated. Hola Santa Susana, soy Carlos Rodriguez. And you may not know this, but I'm a Mexican. And today is Cinco de Mayo. Estoy aquí con el maestro de español, señor Agredano. ¿Nos puede decir unas cosas del Cinco de Mayo? Ah, claro, Carlos. Esta celebración es un símbolo de herencia, orgullo y unidad de ser mexicano. Oh, pues qué bien. ¿Y entonces por qué la celebramos? Bueno, el 5 de mayo celebra la victoria de la batalla de 1862 entre Francia y México. Entonces es el día que le ganamos a Francia. Sí, nosotros ganamos ese día. Sí. Ah, qué bien, qué, qué bien. bien sí. <risa> oh. Es la maestra de francés, Madame hey, Mortai. Hey, what's up? Hey. Feliz 5 de mayo. Ah, uh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. May also means this. <laughs> And the winners of the 2011 class elections are... Hey guys, Vicky Derbogossin here to introduce you to our new officers. Cora Texon, ASB president. Woo. I'm Savannah Geimer and I'm senior class president. Hi, I'm Matt Bryson, I'm an ASB vice president. Jordan Kornman, ASB treasurer. Kathleen Albert, ASB director of activities. I'm Carla Davila, junior class president. Yeah. Rebecca Carathanis, ASB director of publicity. Jessica Lopez, sophomore class president. Middle Easterners are demanding the same freedoms we enjoy here in America as guaranteed in our Bill of Rights. But what about minors? Do students have the same rights as adults in this country? We turn to our law correspondent, Brandon Shiro, with more on this. Thanks, Rachel. Santa Susana is a school of the arts, and as such, we put an important emphasis on creative freedom. We talked to a couple of the members of the staff here, as well as a reporter from the Simi Valley Acorn, to find out what differences there are between our rights and those of people outside of school. So, oh, Ms. Wallach, do we have the same First Amendment rights in school as we would have outside of school? Actually, you do not. You have to understand that the administration has to balance um, the safety of the students on campus with your First Amendment rights. Santa Susana High School doesn't limit or have parameters for the classes that I teach. Well, we're here with Scott Titrington, editor of the Simi Valley Acorn. Now, Scott, what do you as a professional journalist feel about the freedom of expression students are given? I think students do still need to be given the freedoms to find themselves, to express themselves, so long as there are things that aren't going to be detrimental to all of those around them. That doesn't mean that they shouldn't be allowed to sometimes challenge authority, to sometimes express beliefs that maybe aren't popular, uh, to sometimes go against the grain of what the administration might believe. As long as it's done in a format and in a way that isn't disruptive to everybody else around them and creating a chaotic environment, I think all of that should be in balance. Well, thank you, Scott, for sharing your views with us. You're welcome. I'm just so stressed out. Whoa, you better watch this. A few weeks ago, I talked to Austin LeBrake about how he de-stresses through meditation. Nearing the end of the school year, we have finals and AP tests, so I sat down with administration, teachers, and the student body about different ways that they relieve stress in this crazy time. To relieve stress, one of the things that I do is I go outside on a walk. I whittle canoes. I rage quit. I sleep. I bottle it up inside of me and pretend like it doesn't exist. I listen to music and go on a run simultaneously. Either listen to music, play music, exercise, or scream at inanimate objects. I yell at people. I like to read. I ice skate. I use my stress relief kit. I like to sing really loudly. Ah! I take showers and sleep. What's stress? I don't get stressed. I'm a high school teacher. What's to stress on? 
stress relief. Mm. Here's Brooke Ludwig with another Santa Sue student teacher. Hey Santa Sue, I talked with Desiree Wolf before spring break. She's a PE student teacher from CSU Northridge who graduated from Santa Sue in 2001. I chose PE because I think physical activity is important and, and it's, it's a fun major, a fun thing to teach. Uh, I do kickboxing, on, cardio kickboxing on the weekends, I like going to the gym, I like taking Zumba, pretty much anything that's active. What's your plan for finding a job? Hoping that they're hiring teachers instead of laying them off and hoping that maybe a, a teacher will retire and have a spot open. What do you think about the job market for teachers? Right now it's horrible. Um, I'm not getting my hopes up from getting a job right when I finish. I might go back to get my master's degree if I can't find a job right away. For those of you who haven't gotten a date to the prom yet, you might want to start asking. Watch this. You thought I was a girl. <laughs> I don't like the braided lines, and I'm, she's like confused with the shows all the time. And now I decided to show, and you Out of the tree of life, I just. What was that? Pick me a plum. Will you please go to prom with me? <laughs> you came along, and everything started in to hum. Still, it's a real good bet, the best... Look! It's film stock! Where? Over yonder, coming this way! Well, shucks, mister. With shots like that, you should move on over down to film stuff. You know, film stock ain't just for your moving pictures, they're for your stationary ones, too. Shucks. Come on down to film stock, you hear? Returning students, be advised, there's a change in the way lockers get assigned for next year. Hey guys, I'm here with Miss Carter. So, Miss Carter, what is this locker situation about returning students? This year, getting lockers for returning students will be a little bit different than last year. Usually, we come back at the end of the summer, everybody sees one another, and they get their lockers at that time. But because Santa Susana is being modernized, students are going to have to get their lockers a little bit earlier. The students that are returning from Santa Sue will pick their lockers on the 14th of June, and that's really early. It's like the week we get out of school. Um, the good news is that people can pick their lockers early. The bad news is if they have owe oh, any fines, they're not going to be able to get a locker unless they pay the fines really early. So that's going to have to get done. And that's the way it is. May 5th, 2011. Good luck on those remaining AP tests. And, and have, have a great day, Santa Sue. Sue.